So again, I don't think this is a good candidate for macroevolution. Another one is finch beaks. Darwin went to the Galapagos Islands and he discovered that there was these finches and he saw that, hey, maybe these all came from a common finch. And through his extrapolation, he saw that, uh, and, and through his extrapolation, he thought, hey, maybe this is evidence for evolution, that in millions of years, these finches might evolve into something else. And so uh, we've done many studies since then, and we found that, yes, actually the beak size does grow and uh, in certain climates, when there's a drought, for example, the bigger beaked uh, birds will actually survive because they can crack into, these, into the nuts to get their food, whereas the smaller beaks can't do that. And so they die out. And so there was a 5% increase in beak size. Some scientists found this. Very intriguing study, okay? And then they, uh, but then when the drought was, was gone, and uh, actually the population went back. And so again, What's really gone on here? And I would argue that for you to, to claim, to make the extravagant claim that all organisms are descended from a common single-celled ancestor, you need more evidence in this, okay? And so this isn't going to do the trick. 